Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite tools for enhancing colors in your digital images. This one's another one from uh, Topaz Labs. It's called Topaz Adjust. And so uh, let's get to it and have a look at it. Okay, so before I tell you about Topaz Adjust, uh, the thing you need to know about it is that it's a Photoshop plugin. And I don't use Photoshop, I use GIMP. So I'm going to show you real quick how you can uh, make Topaz Adjust work in GIMP. And to start with, you have to go to this page here, and I'll post this in the notes, the uh, link to the site. We're going to get a little utility that you can use to uh, use Photoshop plugins in GIMP. Um, in this case, I have a Windows system. I'm going to download this Windows executable version here. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to jump over to the unzipped file. Okay, so when you unzip it, it actually has this embedded path in, in the uh, archive file. Um, I'm just going to go click on through it, though and uh, just directly install the um, .exe file. And to do that, you just take, you just uh, open your, the, the file that you downloaded, the, uh, the zip file, and you need to open this path to your uh, GIMP in, in, install. In this case, I, you, most people will have it on the, uh, under the programs files, but I have it under Curious Labs, which um, that happened to be Curious Labs Poser was the first uh, artwork thing I ever installed, and I've always done my uh, artwork off that directory. But you might have it in your program files directory. It depends on wherever you install it, but it'll be uh, GIMP2, Lib, GIMP 2.0, and Plugins. And then you just um, drag the file into there. Let's uh, make it so you can see it here. In this case, I think I've already put it in there. You gotta make sure it doesn't try to execute something else. There we go. So you see, I've already I already have it in there, so that, that's good. All right. So once you've dragged this over here, um, you need to go and uh, get Topaz Adjust and uh, you know buy it or download the the. Uh, there's a free trial you can download too, um, and, and install that per the instructions. Once you've uh, done that, you're gonna open up GIMP. And you're going to go up here to Filters and Photoshop Plugin Settings. And you're going to add a directory. And then you specify the directory that Topaz installed the uh, its plugin to, in this case, Topaz Adjust. Uh, now, I've already done it here. It was under F, Program Files, Topaz, Adjust 5, and Plugins. And if you just want to find the uh, directory, you can click this little folder here. Oh, I have it under F. F, Program Files, Topaz Adjust 5, Plugins. And um, you don't need to select that file. You just click OK. Now, I have duplicates here because I've already installed it. So I'm just going to destroy one of those. And th this isn't just for Topaz. This is for any kind of Photoshop plugin. If you just find the uh, directory that the plugins are in, you can specify it here. So we'll click OK. And then you need to restart GIMP. So we'll close it out and restart it. OK, now we're going to check under our filters. And we see here we now have a line here for Topaz Labs and Topaz Adjust 5. Now it's grayed out because I don't have a picture loaded. So let's load a picture. This is one I've been working on. Um, I'm kind of at the point where I need to do the uh, the color adjustment now. So let's see, open recent. Don't see it here. Let's. I think I have it on the desktop. Here it is, dodo.xcf. So I have this picture of a dodo bird that I've done here. It's a little bit on the dark side. Uh, if I were to go and look at the histogram, Let's see, uh, tools, color tools, and look at the uh, the levels. You see here that there's a lot of darks not being used. There's a lot of lights not being used, or light value. This is the uh, the value histogram here. So it's kind of a dingy looking picture. So I'm going to run Topaz Adjust on it and see what I can do. So I'm going to go to Filters, uh, Topaz Labs, and Topaz Adjust 5. And it's going to take a few minutes. you got to be a little bit patient. It'll, it'll take a few minutes to load. All right, so here's uh, Topaz Adjust. And um, to start with over here, you have, it just popped a preview up for me already. Uh, to start with over here, you have presets. And you can kind of go down the list seeing what your presets are going to look like applied to your image. And you'll even have collections of presets. So I could have like the film collection, which has some pretty wild stuff in it, as does Stylize. I like to look, sometimes just go through these to see what kind of crazy stuff I can come up with. Um, I also like uh, this Vibrant collection. I think I'm going to go there and I'm going to pick this Detail Strong one to start with for an example. And you can see here it's applied to that uh, 
that filter and now you can kind of see the details a little bit better. And once you've had a preset you like, you can go over here and do some fine tuning. So let's say I want to uh, increase the contrast a little. Maybe the brightness. And you have this details thing here. You can, you can also check on and off all sets of uh, filters. Maybe we'll move the detail boost down a little bit. Maybe it's a bit too extreme there. And we'll check out, we'll close this up and check out some colors. Maybe do some adaptive saturation. Some actual saturation maybe. Oh, there we go. So yeah, there's a lot of ways. you. Can, I'm not going to go through everything. That, that, that could take hours, but I just wanted to show you some... Uh, so things you can do to just increase the uh, the color you know, or to uh, enhance the colors of your image. Once you've found um, something you like, you just click this apply here and that's going to apply it to the underlying image. And then when you're ready to go back to GIMP, you just click the OK button. Now there is some waiting involved here, so be patient and wait for your filters to load because it does load kind of slow with GIMP. And OK, so the uh, the uh, Filter's been applied, and just for comparison's sake, I'm going to load an older ver the uh, previous version of this, and then we will um, select everything and copy that, and we'll paste it over our fil our filtered version. Now you can see kind of just by me turning on an office layer the difference that it made. So this is the before. And this is after. Now the colors are much more vibrant and you have better range of values. And you can see if I were to maybe go into uh, levels here, I have a much more even range. It goes all the way from dark to almost all the way to light. I suppose I could fix it a little bit, although you don't really see the difference. But anyway, it, it's just a much better picture. So, um, hey, uh, Topaz Adjust, it's something to check out. Uh, see how if it can help with your artwork. I mean, you can use it on photographs or digital art of any kind. So that's it for tonight. So thanks, everybody, and good night. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more or read some of my articles or even check out some of my art, you can find me on my blog at www.introvertartist.com. And here I post articles on how to make art, how to sell it online, tools that you can use. Uh, I have links to my gallery as well as a, you can subscribe to my newsletter here. And my newsletter is something I send out every Wednesday with news on my latest uh, artworks, articles, videos, promotions, discounts, and I even throw in a few a free computer wallpaper every week. So thanks, everybody, and good night.